be making Rocky Road fudge bars and what you need this is a new recipe for us so we're going to try it out um, you need a um, I'll just go by how the arrangement is on the recipe you need two cups of semi-sweet chocolate chips you need two cups of milk chocolate chips you need one cup of creamy peanut butter uh, two and a half cups of peanuts these are cocktail peanuts but you could use whatever I guess but cocktail peanuts is pretty common so two and a half cups of those and two and a half cups of the mini marshmallows the small marshmallows so I'm gonna measure out my peanut butter go ahead and get my two cups of chocolate chips ready and then I'll be back I think I got my stuff ready uh, one thing I wanted to mention you need a 13 by 9 pan uh, the recipe actually calls for aluminum foil that's greased uh, we don't use aluminum foil a lot we use the parchment paper so I've got a parchment paper in there um, pushed into the corners kind of tucked in so that'll work really good it doesn't stick and I can still lift it right out of the pan if I need to um, another thing I wanted to mention is the location where, where we got the recipe we'll put a link down underneath the video but it's from uh, Brooks Bakes at blocks dot blogspot dot com that was the website we got them from um, another discovery I was gonna measure these out but Hershey's I really like and actually said this before too I really like how they actually put on the bag how many cups um, it's approximately two cups of chocolate chips um, that's nice because what we needed was two cups so I'm gonna pour this in there that's uh, 11 and a half ounces is basically two cups so I'm just gonna put that in my bowl and this the Nestle does not say how many cups it is but it does say it's about it's 12 ounces so I would think that 11 and a half 12 ounces is about the same thing so I would I'm gonna guess it's probably around two cups so I'm gonna put both of those in my bowl or my pan and I do not have a double bowl or anything like that so I'm just gonna cook them uh, really slow take my time at it and I'll probably put it on two or three and just slowly bring this up to where they're gonna melt so once they get melted then I'll be ready to add other stuff to them so that's what I'm gonna work on right now all right the chocolates melted and the next step is to take your peanut butter and it's one cup of creamy peanut butter and I'm gonna Put it in there while it's still on the heat. Try to get as much of it out as possible. And I'm just going to stir the peanut butter into the chocolate until it's creamy. We'll basically just get it all mixed together. can't beat peanut butter and chocolate. <laughs> okay. That looks pretty good and mixed up. I, hopefully you can see that pretty good. Um, I don't see any hunks of peanut butter in there. So again, while it's still on the heat, I'm going to take and add um, two cups of, or two and a half cups of the peanuts. And I've just got a half cup scoop here so I can kind of mix in here or dip in here. And get these all good and stirred in there. That just looks evil. I mean, it really does. Um, now, those peanuts will make it thicken up a little bit, but it's still... Uh, just get them kind of mixed in there to where they're all coated. That, that, look, that, just, that looks bad. Um... <laughs> okay so now the next step is going to be to add our marshmallows but we can't put them directly in here because they would just all melt so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my heat off and I'm going to move that to the back burner and I'm just going to let it cool off for I don't know three or four more minutes and just to where it's not so hot to where they'll melt and then I'll come back once it's cooled off enough to measure my marshmallows out we had this little bag left over and the marshmallows I found is hard to measure out because they're kind of squishy and so I would figure I would just go ahead and measure them out real quick. Got my marshmallows. It's, again, it's two and a half cups of marshmallows. And you saw me dump some in there, but that was the rest of them. And now I'm just going to basically just stir this all up in there. Yeah, I wouldn't escape. You didn't want to get eaten. And basically cover and coat all your marshmallows with this evil concoction. I basically determined if it was cool enough not to melt some marshmallows 
by sticking my finger in it. And if it didn't didn't hurt my finger, I figured it was cool enough for a marshmallow. So, okay, so that looks like I've got them pretty much coated. So now I'm just going to take my pan and I'm going to pour them out. Sorry about the noise. I know that's annoying. And then just spread this out. And we're done with anything cooking heating wise. What we're going to do now is um, stick these in the refrigerator and just refrigerate them for about, about two hours or so. Um, just want them to get firmed up really good. And then we'll take them out and, and cut them all up. So about two hours in the refrigerator and that should be good. Our, our mixture is all cooled off and uh, the parchment paper works really good. Pull them right out of there. And then I'm just going to flatten it out. And I actually think this works a lot better than aluminum foil. Uh, the aluminum would have been all stuck inside there and I would have worried about it sticking to it. So I've got a tin, which is what I'm going to store them in. Uh, if you want to put them in a... Um, a plastic container or we'll put it back in the cake pan if you want to as long as you cover them and you can stick it back in the refrigerator that's perfectly fine um, so I'm going to make just a little bit bigger than what I would pieces of fudge Ooh, that's hard like that size and let me go ahead and just cut a piece off so you can see what it looks like inside now that looks really, really good. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to hand a piece to Tommy. And I'm going to try a piece myself to see what it tastes like. Mm, that's really good. Really good in peanut buttery. Marshmallows are good and sweet. Yeah, those are really good. Those are good. For as easy as those are to make, <coughs> I would definitely make these again. So, so I'm going to continue cutting these up and put them in the tin, and, um, and that'll be it. They're done.